name is Lisa Folks. I'm a Deputy Bureau Chief in the Public Safety and Homeland Security Bureau. I've actually been an employee at the FCC off and on for what is now probably about 18 years. When I came to the FCC, I came as a staff attorney fresh out of law school. And I found, um, particularly in the context when you're talking about women of color, that you saw very few of us uh, in professional positions at the FCC. Uh, you, you certainly see women across the board. You saw them in, in the more traditional positions. Over time, you're seeing, um, you see more of us. We've also seen um, the FCC stepping up its recruitment efforts, particularly with, with people of color and with women of color. Deputy Bureau Chief is an executive position. It doesn't have, you know, the, the straight 9 to 5.30 type of hours. Sometimes I'm having to work on weekends, at nights, things of that nature. But I also have a small child at home. So I've had to work on balancing that. And I think that that brings a, a separate set of challenges because a lot of times when you're a professional woman, and you have children, particularly when you have uh, small children, there's a tendency to, for people that work with you to kind of push you into what I call them, and what other women have called the mommy track. So you have to try to deal with that challenge and, and, and find a way to, to communicate. Yes, I have you know family at home that I have to that I have to deal with, but I'm still able to do the job that I that I have at the FCC and that I need to do. Different people have different styles. I will say that one of the things that that um, one of my mentors when I was a, a staff attorney about to take my first management position, some observations that she made to me back then about differences in perceptions between men and women managers, I find continue to be true. For example, um, women have, do have to watch how they react to certain situations because there are certain things that are acceptable for men that aren't for women. So for example, men sometimes can get away with yelling at everyone. And that's that their their abilities are not undercut on the other hand if a woman is screaming at everyone and slamming doors and things of that nature that's tended to look be looked upon negatively with respect to her uh, management abilities I think women managers and women executives have to be privy to and keep in the back of their mind and I think another challenge that I I think a lot of women, professional women, have whether they're women of color or not, is being taken um, being taken seriously um, by people that you work with, um, um, people that report to you, people that you report to. I would not be a deputy bureau chief today without having the advice and mentoring of really several people along my career path. I would say to um, young women attorneys that are coming through the ranks of the FCC, look for mentor opportunities to have someone who's more experienced than you, uh, advise you, mentor you. Um, it's, not, it's not about getting someone who can help you find a job, but just giving you somebody you can bounce ideas off of in terms of your career.